Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. We're actually starting off this video with a giveaway because you guys have been asking for one, and this is actually a big giveaway. Make sure you watch this part all the way through because at the end I'm gonna be talking about something that you guys need to listen to so you have more of an understanding on this video. So anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the giveaway portion. So I was actually digging through some old tackle and I had this old reel that is actually brand new in the package that I had from when I used to fish, you know, 13 rods and reels. As you guys know, I'm solely with Lou's now. I use all Lou's rods and reels, but I actually found this and I was like, man, what? it would be awesome to give this away to you guys just because it's sitting around. I'm not gonna do anything with it. And I was like, we might as well give it away to the Kick and Their Bass TV fam. So we have a reel right here. We have a little tiny crush crankbait, little square bill, and then two packs of Divine Shaky Head Worms by Six Cents. And this is the stuff that we're gonna be giving away. If you guys wanna enter this giveaway, this is a pretty freaking solid giveaway too, I will say. But if you guys wanna enter, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and also hit the like button and you guys are entered to the giveaway. If you could also drop some comments down below on some video suggestions and different ideas for video videos in the future, then do that as well and that would be awesome. But yeah guys, I really wanted to run a giveaway because everyone's been asking about it, like Noah, where the giveaways? I haven't done one in a minute. I'm like, man, we're gonna make this one worth it. We got a bunch of cool stuff for this giveaway, so make sure you go enter, that'd be awesome. So in today's video, if you guys are wondering what we're doing, this video was a video I posted a while ago, but let me tell you, when I posted it, something happened with YouTube and it was not pushed out. It was like my worst video of the year. Something happened. Even other content creators deleted their YouTube video that day because YouTube has some problems sometimes where they don't send out notifications and that ended up happening on this video and it's just died completely and it really won't show it to any of my viewers. So I was like, we need to post this video up because it was a killer video of us rat fishing with this massive rat. It was a 12 inch rat and just caught a bunch of really good fish on it. It was just an awesome video. I was so mad that YouTube didn't push it out. So I'm like, I'm, I think today's the time that we're gonna upload that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you enter that giveaway. Hit that freaking like button. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Three on this side. Yep. Yep. There it is. God. Got him! Oh yeah! We're gonna be bass fishing with big rats. We're gonna see if we can catch some massive fish on some top water today. I'm very excited about this because I have yet to do it. A lot of people have been commenting about it. I'm like, today is the day that we're gonna take the old rat out. So I have another one here today. This is These are actually both Fletchers. Um, and this is a brand new spur rat. This one's a lot smaller as you can tell right there. It's still a good looking rat, but you know, this guy right here, look how, look how big, look at the size difference on those two this guy is a massive rat and so i was like you know what i know exactly what you guys would want to see today and it would be fishing with the biggest rat possible if you lay this out on my arm look how big that thing is realistically that is insane that's a solid 10 inches with the tail so i'm curious i asked fletcher as well if he has replaceable tails he has some in the boat so if something goes wrong but look at the detail on this rat we were just talking about it it just looks so <laughs> real if um, i saw it on the floor and i was just like a little bit sleepy dude it, i would have think i would think it's a real it, it, it literally <laughs> looks like one doesn't it you got like the legs right here and other uh, rubber as well and they're just hanging off as you guys can tell down there just the tail and this one's like a little bit older and it just looks so realistic and then you got like the little whiskers up top I don't know if you guys can see that coming off the end. But yeah, we're going to tie this bad boy on. We're going to try to catch some big fish today. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and hop on the water, catch a big fish. You guys better stay tuned. Let's get it. So we just got out on the boat. We got the big, big freaking rat right here. This is insane. We're going to be rigging it up on my top water rod. I'm going to cut off this frog. Put this rat on and see where it leads us today. I have yet to throw a rat like this. I threw like a hollow body rat that was similar to a frog. We're gonna be trying this out today. So let's go ahead and tie her up, try to catch a big bass. Well guys, we thought we knew what we were doing here, but I guess we didn't. This one actually goes under the water. We want the waking, so we're gonna tie on to the bill. I guess that does make sense, right? Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Watch this one just go down too. It just doesn't want to wait. Huh. Interesting. Ought to be one on bed right up there.
Oh my gosh. Yep. On yep, on the rat. There you go. On the rat. Did he hit it pretty good? Oh uh, no. He he oh, came up and okay. slurped it. Yeah, right off that dock though. It's there my you first go. ratfish. Look how small he is. I was not expecting one <laughs> that small to eat the rat, but I will say that's the first fish on that giant rat today. Well, there we go. We got, ooh, he's bleeding a little bit. First rat fish, that is crazy. I would not have expected a one pounder to eat that giant rat. That is incredible though. That's a good sign that we got one. Like I said, not big. He's actually missing an eye. If you look at that right there. Oh yeah. He's uh, that. Missing, missing a little, some vision in one side. Maybe that's why he ate that big rat. <laughs> look how small that fish is though. Is that not incredible? That's wild that he went after that thing. That is incredible. Oh man, let's get back in there and catch another one. Except this time, we need that like big five plus pounder. Be on this side. Yep. 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 Um, I can't really tell. Came right on the edge of that dock the same way. Yeah, it's a oh, yeah, good it's fish. A it's actually a really good oh. fish. That was like a four pounder. I didn't know he was Dang. that big. It's hard to tell because the rat's so large. Well, that was our second bite on the rat today. That's about a four pound. I thought he was like two pounds and then you realize how big the rat is compared to the fish. I know. Oh. Dang. Guess we should have had the nit. I know. Oh, you were grabbing it, weren't you? Yeah, no, I was about to pull it out. Pulling it out. Uh, That's the second bite today on the side of dock, so he I thought I saw something when I cast it, and sure enough, he came up and grabbed it. That's just a good one. Oh no. Maybe like run it, pause it, then walk it yeah. like three or four times. Let's try different variations of it. <gasps> oh, that was a giant. 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 Dude, did you see that tail? That was a giant. Holy like that that was no that was a monster that was like probably six pounds that was a monster dude what it was right when i when i switched it up maybe that is a freaking i was thinking about it earlier i reeled it and then when i went to pop it he just did he get a good piece of it he never touched it bro never he completely missed it that was every bit of five six pounds was, you you that, saw him right I there know, i saw his oh. whole back spin and holy smoke Now, what are you doing today? Just getting some school and rat action. Gosh, dude, when it hit the water. Oh my gosh. Dude, it, I didn't even move it. It came off. Oh. Dude, the rat fights harder than the dang fish. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't even move the dang thing. It hit the water and he went. Doosh. All right, number four combo meal of cheese. Uh, there ain't no lettuce on. Oh, there ain't no lettuce on this one. Ooh, that's, that's a, a big one. That's a fatty. That's a fatty. Did he come off? That was a four plus pounder, bro. All you day. saw him. Yeah, I saw him. He, he probably looks like four and a half five. <sighs> I don't think he wanted pickles, man. He, he ain't into the green stuff. You think it was the mayonnaise, man? Yeah, it might have been the mayonnaise, man. I mean, sometimes I'm not in the mood for mayonnaise. Maybe that was it. Dude, that was a big fish. God. Gosh, that's him right there. Dude, hammered it. Yo, this is actually, I think, a decent one. I got him weird. Oh, did you hear? Oh, there's another one with him. Yeah, there's another one with him. Dude, he's not even moving. Look at that. I got him so good. <laughs> oh, my God. I got him, too. Oh, I got him wrapped up. That's why he's not jumping. I got the braid wrapped around him. Holy cow, that's actually a good fish, bro. That's a fatty. The red. Look at that. You gotta love that. Look how my braid is. See what I'm saying? That's why he wasn't jumping. You see that? Oh, yeah, it is wrapped up all around him. <laughs> Dude, I like how I'm tied up. He was not coming we off. We got him noosed. <laughs> I guess that's how I had to get it done. He actually had another fish with him. But look at that freaking big rat hanging outside of that bass's mouth. And that is a good one right there. Heck yeah. All right, there's that beautiful fish on the big rat. He hammered that thing. We actually have some fish schooling in the background. It's a solid like three and a half right there. Beautiful bass, thick and chunky. We're gonna get him right back in. Look at that. That's a pancake right there. Big old slab of meat. That's a good fish, man. He hammered that rat right Dude, I told you, I heard him <laughs> splashing around back there. <laughs> 
Let's get right back in there, see if we can catch another one. There's a few fish hidden right behind me. We've seen a lot of fish come up and uh, we don't know if there's a school or what. We're gonna cast it right here in this corner. Watch this. It might just be running that bank. They're probably just roaming. That's probably what's happening. That fish that I came back with it had another had one. another one with them, yeah. That's where they were just hitting, weren't they? Or was it right? Yeah, they've, they've been, I've heard a few, they've been running up and down this bank. There's one more cast right there. Oh. Oh, dude. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another chunk, bro. Oh, behind it. That's a good fish right there. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Dude, look at that bass. On the red. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. We finally found some st some fish stacked up. We've had a struggle with this freaking rat, let me tell you guys. Now we're finally getting on some good quality fish and they're freaking smoking that giant right there. This is a really good fish too. You can tell the quality of fish that are coming on this thing. The first fish today was smaller. But they seem to be getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, we lost those big ones earlier. We're about to get on them real good. Dude, that is a thick fish. That's a oh, thick boy. <laughs> that is so good. I watched him come up behind it and freaking hammer it. Hope you guys saw that on the camera. We're gonna get him right back in the water. That's a freaking pancake. Pretty fish, man. You can't beat that. Gosh. Let's get back in there. Keep catching them on the red. A little chrono bump. A little chrono bump? I'll give you a oh, bump. Yeah, I heard him I heard him blowing up. I think it was a school of probably like I was working that last one really slow. Just kind of pop, pause, pop, pause. No, 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 he's right there. I see him, I see him. Look. Oh my God. Dude, he was coming out of that, like all the way until I got to the boat, he started coming out of the tree. He wasn't big, he's like two pounds. I don't know, the last one looked like he was two and he was a solid three and a half, so I don't know. Oh, baby. I just wanna see a dinosaur come out of these trees here. Yeah, oh. I, did, I was about to reel it in. That's a good one. Dang. Oh gosh, that's actually a really big one. I was about to throw it. I was about to reel it in. Oh my god, guys, we got a we got a freaking tank. Oh, I got him double hooked now. That was perfect. We got a freaking tank on. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Yo. Look at that bass. On the, the freaking rat. Off. Dude, ask Fletcher, I've been around the block with this rat today. And just to see that right there, they're quality ones, I will say that, man. You cannot beat the quality of these fish. I literally just cast it in that same spot. I had a perfect skip cast in there and nothing. That's the thing, man, with these, I know you can agree too, these big baits like that, we were just talking about it right before he bit. It's like a big swim bait, you know, it calls them out. And if these big ones are up under these lay downs, especially on a sunny day like today, they see something causing a ruckus by the trees, they'll come out and eat it. And that one's not as big as the other ones. I thought he was bigger, man. He looked so big when it I was fighting. really bigger than water. That's a solid three pounder, man. They're just good fish. I wish we would have had those big ones earlier, but <laughs> we can't complain. That was, that was a good fish. We're gonna keep on working it. We came back in this pocket. Um, it's right off the main lake over here. We caught two fish coming back in on the bins. And now we're gonna hunt around here, see if we can call some more big ones out on that rat. Dude, I literally started to just put my hand on it to reel it in and that's when he hit it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It's a big one too. 
right move your rod, move your rod. He's right under me. He's right under it. Look at that. Oh my God. You think he sees the boat. Toss your dig. You're gonna catch this fish. Reel it up to me. All right. You should catch that bass. That was actually a really good one. Like a three plus. Yep. There he is. There he is. Got him. Perfect. Yeah, we got Perfect. him. Yes, sir. Oh, he wanted a snack. Yeah, he just wasn't quite ready to commit. Yes. He, as soon as that thing hit the bottom, man, he picked it up. Is that not perfect? That was money, dude. Yeah, it is a three number. That's what I thought that he was. That is a good fish right there. That's that's hey, that's teamwork right there. Yes, sir. Bow. Oh, sorry, dude. Uh, Corona, Corona. Uh, you got Lysol? Corona. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of Lysol on there. <laughs> All right. We got him off. But that's actually crazy because I just had cast him in that same spot two times and he didn't want to touch the jig at all when I just threw it up there by itself. He called that rat out. That fish was ready to eat something and he just got scared off by the boat. I think when he just kind of got close, threw that, um, that jig in there and as soon as it hit the bottom where he was just kind of more hidden, he smoked it. We were just talking about it. Rushed you were just talking about that, how it calls out the fish mm -hmm. and that was a prime example of it. Dude, that's so cool. Just a gorgeous green gal. Bye, baby. Dude, that was so good. Give me a corona yes, bump. Boom. Oh, crap, bro. Nice. What? Wait, what? I have a fish, bro. What? I didn't think I had them. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. There was two. There was a... Oh my god, I feel like such a a wiener. You are a wiener. I am a wiener for that one, dude. There was two fish and I saw a small one. And I was looking at the small one and it never moved. And all of a sudden just, <laughs> it it wasn't that fish, it was a different one. Freaking hit it. That was a solid three. That was stupid, dude. They were just looking at that thing. And I didn't know I had one on. I never literally never felt them. Never nothing. I thought my bait was just, that was stupid. <laughs> I think there was one by me, could be wrong. Sun's so bright. Yep. There you go. Nope, no. I didn't think she ate it. I don't know what that, it was a small fish. She'll eat you. Oh, this is gonna be cool, do another trade. Oh God, she's right there. She's behind you? Where's your jig? Where's your jig? She was right oh, there the whole man. time. Yeah, she was right there the whole time. I might be able to catch her on your jig. She might. It might be too late though. Oh man, that was freaking crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Same thing. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, she came off, but that was freaking cool. Oh, that was so cool. Fletcher wasn't using the jig, so I picked it up myself and still got her somehow. <laughs> That's another thing to note, guys, when you're fishing, you know, whether it's a buzz bait, whether it's a sort of top water, whether it's a swim bait, any big baits in general, if you, you're gonna see a bunch of followers like that, um, especially on big swim baits, especially on buzz baits where they come up and just miss it. If you take any sort of crawl, worm of any sort and you pitch it in there, what usually happens is the fish will come up and then it'll sit right below it to wait and see if he killed something. So if a jig or a little worm comes falling in front of his face, He's gonna eat it, and uh, we demonstrated that literally twice today. That was freaking awesome. I bet if we tried this corner still, that close corner, and then this pipes, maybe then go over. Are you on to go to? Right here? Yeah, like all the way up there though, like where we usually get. Oh, oh. There it is. <laughs> Dude, he came out of nowhere. I just happened to look back. I was reeling in my jig. And I freaking saw him come out of nowhere trying to eat it. Before you saw it? No, I just saw the fish coming and then he ate it. Oh yeah. Dude, that's not a bad one. Holy cow, is that a football? Look at that. You see that marking on him? Oh yeah. It's a beautiful fish. I picked up Fletcher's jig for a minute just to kind of I've been dying to catch a jig fish and I was reeling it and he came out of dude, that is a football. Came out of nowhere and ha hammered that right there. Hybrid jig, six cents. Beautiful, let's get him back in. Okay, back to the rat. There it is. Gosh, that was awesome. Well, that's actually a good one. 
Not a bad one at all. That might be my biggest one, dude. Holy cow. That's a good one. Look how big he is. Dude, it is too hard. Don't worry about it. I knew I shouldn't have done that, dude. It's our freaking biggest one today. That was a four pounder. Worrying about the video, guys. That's what happens. That's what happens when you decide to be a fishing content creator. Next cast. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, that That could have. That could have been very bad. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Oh my, thank God it didn't stick you, dude. I would have caught me a wild Fletcher. That would not have been good. Fletcher, Fletcher would be ripping drag. Dude, that was my next cast. What in the world? This bank. I think they're betting on this bank real good. Yeah, this is the heat. This is the heat. One way I've been looking at this is, you know, I started off working it a lot different, but now it's like the popping motion. I'm kind of walking the dog with it. I'm giving it pops and pausing it give it another pop pause it and i'm kind of just walking the dog with that rat and that's really how they want it you know usually i wouldn't want them to get a good look on a bait like this but surprisingly that's how they're biting so you know i throw it at the edge of a tree and i give them like some aggressive pops and it's like calling the fish out and this bait's just darting back and forth I'm going for it, dude. that's a fish gosh Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Please don't spit it. Please don't spit it. Oh, I got him in the freaking gill. Oh my gosh, I got him in the gill. Don't spit it. Look at that, how I have him. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Look how I had that one. That was probably the best rat bite of the day. Would you say, what would you say about that one? That was, that was definitely competing. He that, smoked it. He's definitely top, top two, top three, top water bites of today. Beautiful one, not a giant, but that is a good fish on the rat. That is so much fun. We're having the bites, it's just hard, that hookup ratio. And even on that one, you know, I had him in the gill. Let's get him right back in the water. That's awesome. So much fun fishing a bait like that. There he goes. Man, that is a blast.